Mayor Campbell's view is that the police are to be commended. The 16-year-old Ontario youth who claims that the police broke his leg with their sticks and that he was told to get up or you'd have his other leg broken doesn't agree. He and his mother have launched a lawsuit. I asked the mayor how he could ignore the dozens, even hundreds, of reports about police behavior. Police did a, uh, a most commendable job. Uh, pictures I've seen in the local press, uh, there's a lot of discussion of using uh, riot sticks with one hand. The pictures I saw showed them always in two hands. Uh, there were dozens of photographers down there. If there had been, had been any police brutality, those pictures would have spread across those front pages. They weren't there because the brutality wasn't there. Well, there's television film of police whacking people uh, across the head and so on with uh, these riot sticks, which you yourself said you would pay for if council wouldn't bring them in. Yes, but, but uh, perhaps that fellow that was getting whacked over the head had just thrown a paving brick at that officer. And perhaps he hadn't. Well, I mean, the, you, you show your part of the film. Uh, the, the, the officer certainly must have had a reason for doing it. Uh, there were some 53 people charged. Uh, you can't tell me that they're all innocent. What do you say to Alderman Sweeney, who's been one of your chief supporters and who's now one of your chief critics? He told me by long-distance phone today that it's a pity that the chief magistrate of this city is going around promoting violence. Well, I'm not promoting violence. I hope that violence will go away. That's the last thing I want in Vancouver is violence. But uh, I laid it right on the line that Vancouver is going to be a clean city, that we're not going to close our eyes to drugs, hard or soft, uh, that we expect the merchants to accept their responsibility, and if they won't, the police will have to take do, do whatever is necessary, and if that means arrests, and if that means undercover work, we're prepared to do it and will do it, and I'm sure that Alderman Sweeney support, will fully support, support law and order. Don't you consider that Vancouver has now graduated to the American pattern of violence? You know, the policemen with visors, the long sticks, the confrontations, and so on. Are you proud of that? No, I'm not. Uh, but I think that uh, Vancouver, uh, as a major city in, on the North American continent, has the least of all of violence. Our universities are good. Uh, we have the, uh, the odd uh, riot here. We may have had uh, two, three, maybe four in the last four or five years, which is a pretty good record for Canada's third largest city. There were about 1,200 people in the Gastown melee. Most of them were just out to see the sights, and many I talked to will never forgive either the police or the mayor for what happened. The Vancouver province newspaper has accused the mayor of intellectual vandalism and says that if only the alderman could lock him up for a while, further trouble might be avoided. But judging from the hotline programs, Tom Campbell's still Tom Terrific to thousands. 